Blender and 3ds Max are two of the most popular 3D creation packages and whether you're a beginner about to start your 3D creation journey or a professional with years of experience you've probably asked the question which is better Blender or 3ds Max now to understand which software fits your need we are going to compare both of these programs in different aspects of the 3D creation world now Let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Modeling. When it comes to modeling, which is an essential part in the 3D creation pipeline, 3ds Max used to be the go to when 3D modeling a decade ago. It's still a good software for 3D modeling in today's world. It offers all the necessary modeling tools and features. Also, it has a set of modifiers that help you create anything you want with it. However, 3ds Max has really limited sculpting tools. That's why the majority of its users switch to ZBrush to do the sculpting part. If you compare that to Blender, Blender has a complete sculpting system and its tools and brushes are being improved in every release by the Blender team. Blender sculpting tools are almost equivalent to what the industry standard ZBrush has to offer. Also Blender after the 2.8 release got a really cool new user interface that gives 3D artists a comfortable 3D creation experience. Also, Blender modeling tools are always improving at a rapid pace. The Blender team has been adding new tools and features extensively in every new release that happened in the last couple of years. But 3ds Max, on the other hand, is not getting that many new modeling features when compared to Blender. Animation Blender animation tools and features are really what every animator needs to create any type of animation he wants. Blender is used by the Blender Animation Studio to create high quality short movies just by using it. Of course Blender also has to offer great tools and features for rigging characters out of the box. You can even improve the rigging experience by using add-ons that were created by the Blender community like Autorig Pro. And the thing that separates Blender from all the other 3D creation packages is the ability to create 2D animations using the Grease Pencil feature. The Blender Animation Studio used this feature to create the short movie Hero and the result was astonishing. On the other hand, 3ds Max also has some good rigging and animation tools like CAT which stands for Character Animation Toolkit, which is a tool that started as a plugin, then got integrated as a part of 3ds Max. It's used to simplify the process of rigging and animating characters. It also can do muscle stimulations, and it has some procedural animation tools that allow you to animate without using keyframes. The one downside for 3ds Max when compared with Blender in animation features is the lack of consistent updates in my opinion. Simulation and VFX Blender has one of the best simulation systems in the world. You can create smoke, fire, rain, etc. The Blender team also added the Mentaflow fluid simulation framework to Blender. Now you can create high quality fluid simulation with it. You can even choose to work with the really powerful flip fluid add-on that is used by many artists in the Blender community to achieve complex fluid simulations. Blender also has a rigid body dynamic system that you can use to simulate the interaction between solid objects and also a soft body dynamic system that you can use to create bouncing balls, body parts and other soft bodies. You can also create cloth either by using the sculpting brushes so you can control the cloth object by grabbing, 
dragging or pinching this surface, so you can create custom wrinkles and cloth effects. You can also create cloth objects by using the built-in cloth simulation system. Blender also has a unique compositing system that is always getting new features from the Blender team and it's always being used by the Blender Animation Studio to color correct and composite their short movies. This compositing system is not as powerful as the industry standard Nuke, yet it is a really useful system to add those finishing touches on your renders. Blender also has some motion tracking tools that you can use to create professional camera tracking for your VFX shots. These features were used and further developed during the creation of the short live action movie Tears of Steel. On the other hand, 3ds Max can create some high quality fluid simulations because its fluid simulation framework is based on the really powerful simulation system Bifrost that is used in Autodesk Maya. And like Blender, it also has the ability to create soft body and rigid body simulations. 3ds Max also has a free plugin called Tyflow, which is a developed more powerful version of Particles Flow, a particles simulator that was so well known, but it couldn't maintain that. You also have the ability to use third party plugins like Thinking Particles and Fume FX, which are used to create those high budget Hollywood movies. Rendering Blender has two built in render engines. First, we have Cycles, which is the physically based ray tracer. It is designed to provide physically based results with artistic control and flexible shading nodes. It's mostly used to render high quality realistic images. On the other hand, EV Render Engine is a real time render engine built using OpenGL and focused on speed and interactivity while achieving the goals of rendering PBR materials. Now when it comes to rendering with 3ds Max, you have the ability to use Art Render Engine, Quicksilver and View Field Renderer. But most of the artists using 3ds Max will be working with the well known Arnold. Arnold is a very strong physically based tracer. It was acquired by Autodesk in 2016 and it has been further developed by the company. Now is one of the best render engines out there. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comment below your preferred 3D software and why. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.